Hello chums and welcome to another Let's Play with me, RC, here on Video Chums. Today we're going to be playing a bit of Exmorph Defense. Now, <laughs> Exmorph Defense, uh, the name of it always makes me laugh because it, it reminds me of like 90s movies for some odd reason. Like, you know, like a Starship Troopers type of thing, you know what I mean? It's got like a, a Transformers type of you know, uh, uh, art style and in the name and everything just just makes you think of that. Uh, so what we have here is a this is sort of a uh, tower defense type of game. It's actually been out on other consoles and PC for a little while now, but we are now going to be checking out the port uh, on the Switch, which I'm excited to check out because I haven't played this game at all ever. I've, I've seen it uh, released back, you know, I, th I think I think it's been a couple years now. It's it's been a little while. Um, but uh, this is my, my first foray into it. Uh, so let's jump into the story campaign and check out what we got going on here. I'm definitely excited to see what we got. Um, so you can change the difficulty at any point that you want. Let's see, easy difficulty, you will receive a lot more resources. Your ship will, uh, your ship and the core will be able to withstand more damage, that kind of thing. Normal difficulty is intended for players who enjoy a moderate amount of challenge. So we're just going to go with normal. We always play normal here, usually. Um, some enemies like artillery, bombers, or bosses can destroy your towers. Losing a tower in the middle of an enemy wave can drastically change the situation as all laser fences that are connected to it will disappear as well. Okay, so this sounds pretty intense, actually. Um, falling buildings can also destroy your defenses. When a tower is destroyed, you will rega regain all resources just as if it was sold. You can always rebuild la lost towers, but this could prove difficult in the middle of a battle. Yep, sounds like tower defense, for sure. Oh man, this big asteroid is breaking up. This is a deep Transformers voice. Oh man, they want our Geo! And our gravity! And our minerals! Oh man, they picked Earth! Who would have thought? Oh man, it's about to get intense here. Let's do this though. We gotta we got save planet Earth. Man, they really let you know every part of their like of their plan here, like when everything is happening, the play-by-play. Hopefully, it's a positive one. Me thinks it won't be. Been surrounded by local life forms, initiating the Exmor fighter to scout the area. Okay, so now we can shoot, charge. Wow, this is like one of those old school PlayStation 2 like uh, button mapping things. Change weapon, aim, shoot, ghost mode, confirm, cancel, next wave. Oh man, there's all kinds of stuff here to keep track of. Shoot and next weapon and charge weapon. Those are probably the most important, right? This thing is flying too close to our core. Drive it away. The aliens are shooting at us. Call the army. Oh, we're gonna just blow everybody up. I didn't realize we were saving Earth. I think we're destroying Earth. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. Oh, this is this is pretty great. I love how the ship controls here. Initiating the first phase of the operation. Our goal is to build an energy harvesting infrastructure and to create a geodetic network encompassing the entire planet. Wow. Things are going to go down here. The aliens are firing on civilians. We're sending rapid response units to stop them. That guy sounds like the now guy from Crackdown. Ready for action. Let's shoot some aliens. Yeah, yeah, bring it on. Bring it on. Yeah, the ship, the ship moves like really fluidly, which is really cool. 
And it, it feels like a, uh, uh, like a thun uh, jungle strike or something like that in the Sega Genesis because you're flying around. It's it's a lot more intuitive than that, but I love I love that it's got the twin stick shooter thing going on, and then they're going to add tower defense into it. Uh, probably once we get past this uh, tutorial area here, which is, I can see why this game is popular, or why people you know like it, why it's well reviewed. Jet fighters in the zone, attacking the alien. More jets. Uh, and it actually runs really good on the Switch as well. Jet fighters ETA, three seconds. More jets. There we go. I want to try... Oh, look at that. That's the charge weapon. That looks really cool. The effects of this game are really beautiful. Forces have been destroyed. We are sending ground recon units before the main attack. All right. These vehicles are a threat to our harvester core. Destroy them before they can reach it. All right, we'll get them. I don't think it'll be a problem. Oh, we're taking a little bit of damage there. But that's okay. Doesn't seem to be any any energy for our guns or anything. We just keep shooting forever and ever. It would seem. Wow, we just got like a super long stream of enemies here. I kind of like that we get to play as the aliens. I, I feel like most of the time we're the, the ones saving Earth. All of our reconnaissance forces with ease. We have to stop them before they Woo! destroy the whole city. Prepare a joint air and ground strike force. They're doing it all. Here we go. We're officially in a wave. Saving checkpoint. Native defense forces are stronger than we anticipated. Their attack paths have been calculated. We have placed a defensive tower to help you. Defend the core at all costs. There's our first tower. So they have a few different ways they can come in, but... Or actually, rather, they have a few different pathways to get to the in part. But I think we're going to be okay. Uh, press start to begin the wave. Okay, here we are. We're officially defending towers at this point. All right, we got jets coming in. The jets are not going to follow the uh, the line dictated for the the land troops here. What do you guys think you're doing? You're not making it through. Blow them up. Get these guys as well. Oh man, we got a lot of dudes coming in. Get that guy. There we go. Lots of explosions, but the Switch seems to be handling all this stuff very, very well. And we are now at a checkpoint. Wave 2. Anticipating a stronger enemy attack wave. We have to build more defense towers. It's a good idea. Build a defense tower. Switch your ship into the ghost mode. Okay. By hitting X. We are now in ghost mode. Build mode. Press A to do build mode. Confirm the build instruction. And we got another de defense tower up. Warning. We are anticipating a stronger enemy attack wave. You can build additional defense towers. I think I would like that. All right. So if I go to ghost mode, I have to go to. Oh, I see. Okay. So there's actually a cursor that it pops in there. Okay. So we can build one there. Okay. Fair enough. So we'll build another one here. And I think we used up all of our resources, so I think we are now good. So that's really cool. They they don't immediately throw the wave at you, at least for right now. Uh, maybe the tutorial is different from the regular game, but you get to control when the wave comes in. They give you a nice big map on the bottom right here to tell you where the waves are going to be coming from. Um, 
it's it's very informative it's like easy to play this is this is great i love that it's a twin stick shooter too twin stick shooter mixed with tower defense who would have thought that that would be a, a good mix i mean it's had to have been done before right Armored units will be ready but maybe to not in the next wave light ground support moving fast confirming visual on the enemy all right i'm gonna try to let the towers do a little bit more heavy lifting here Fighters in the zone, attacking the aliens. Humvee team engaging hostile. Okay. We got all those guys. I could definitely see, though, this is just the first level, how many enemies are coming at us and trying to take us out. Imagine what the levels are going to be like the further we get going. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> But man, halfway through the tutorial, I'm already really, really digging this. There we go. Another checkpoint. Wave three. And we got more resources. Heavier enemy units. We have to block the direct attack path with a laser fence. Okay. You can connect defense towers with laser fences to make enemy paths longer. Oh, ah, okay. I can I can dig that. So we can't actually block anything else though because they have to have a path coming in cuz these guys are coming from off the map there. So, but that's actually cool that you can redirect a route like that. That's pretty smart. Uh all right, so we know that everything's pretty much going to be coming through there. I I usually like to build towers where they're going to be most efficient. Most efficient to me is usually um ones that are going to be able to hit anything that's coming in. So let's go into ghost mode here. And we're going to throw a tower here, I think. All right, so how do we switch between... We must only have one thing we can build right now. That must be why it's not letting me switch, because I thought in the options... Oop, didn't mean to do that. Have begun to expand their base and are raising I was trying to hit pause, <laughs> but that didn't work out, did it? And ready to spearhead the next attack wave. Okay. They should get past those towers. But you can build also during ghost mode, which is cool. So we'll just build these real quick. There we go. All right, out of ghost mode. Let's destroy. the first wave the whole first wave of tanks is down they're done whoa so this definitely has a little bit of that bullet hell thing going on too i just love that they took tower defense and they blended in so many different genres with it to make a game it's a very clever idea help out my towers here a bit well good I started the wave early but I found out that you can actually build during a wave which I was not aware of so finding things out which is good now it looks like they only shoot at me though it doesn't look like they actually do any damage to the towers would you think if they were smart they would probably shoot at the towers try to take those things down there we go another checkpoint to make their paths longer. To create a laser fence, first build two defense towers close to each other. Right. Highlight one of the towers and select it to display the action menu. Okay. Select the and ah, laser fence. I see. Up. Select the tower to which you want to connect. Ah, so there was another path that could have went the whole time. Alright, so we don't want these guys coming through here. So we want to build 
a couple of towers here. So let's go to ghost mode. So we want to put a one tower here, I think, right? And then we want to put another one here. Okay, so we select this tower, hit A, select the fence, and there we go. We've redirected that route back over here. And if I had more juice, I would redirect that one probably down this way, if, it's, if that's a possibility, I don't know. But this is pretty good. This will keep them go, filing in through the same area where I already have towers so that'll be that'll be good. All right. Next wave. The structure is being covered with a strange metal, and we are observing an increasing number of alien towers. It looks like their base is growing. These aliens are definitely hostile. We can't let them spread. Civilian casualties are secondary. Prepare a stronger assault force. Thanks. Prepare a stronger assault force. Yeah. Good luck. Good luck, dude. We're taking your minerals. Take that, Earth. Oh, gotta get rid of these guys. There we go. The towers seem to be taking care of these guys, no problem. Just gotta watch these big tanks as they get in here. And I gotta watch my ship health, too. Gotta watch those red bullets as they come in. So little red bullets, they're a little little tough to see when you got so much going on. I mean, look how much is going on on screen right now. Oh man, there's a lot going on here. Oh, nope. These guys are making it through. That's okay. No harm done. We're still we're still in this. Let's get these two guys. There we go. You guys are done. I could see this getting really difficult as it goes on, too. Trying to keep track of, like, all the enemies that are coming in at the same time. I could see it getting really intense or really crazy. Boom! But we were able to do it. No sweat. The aliens are using advanced tactics against our forces. We have to attack them from several directions at once. We're sending everything we've got at the alien core. If this doesn't work, we'll have to authorize the use of Tarantula Mark V. Tarantula Mark V? A very strong attack is incoming. You can freely move towers or build new ones to shape enemy paths. It is recommended to make their paths as long as possible. Good call. Good, good call. All right, so that's a pretty long path for them. Um... It's interesting because you could take the gate off of here and have them file through the middle and then put a gate there and that would make the guys from the bottom go up and around. But I'm not sure how helpful that will be in this situation. I think that I can actually go to ghost mode here. I can select this guy. I think that if we gate that there. Oh, so he'll just go end up going around it. It won't actually go up over here. So let's go ahead and build tower there and a tower there and we are going to uh, select this guy put a fence up there we go okay that's what I was trying to do I still got a couple more towers I could put up they're all gonna be filing in over here so We want to put Mhm. <laughs> okay, I think one here is a good idea. And one another one on this side is probably a good idea. Uh since so many of them are filing through there, I'm thinking putting a tower here is probably good too. So they're going to be walking right through all of them, which is good. Uh, we can probably connect these two together. Oh, what did that do? Oh no, that totally rerouted them 
all the way there. We do not want them going there. How do I erase a wall? There we go. Okay, so you can't erase a wall. Yeah, I want them going through this path. I don't want them darting around and going over here. I don't want them <laughs> finding another opening. Uh, so everything is pouring into the same opening there, hitting most of the towers. I think we're going to be good. Let's just go for it here. Armor squad ready to deploy. The hit is coming. Let's see what happens. Air support. Your location, one minute. Take that guy out. There we go. Okay. They're all done. And we're going to go after some tanks here. I wonder if you actually get weapon upgrades and stuff later, too. That would be pretty helpful. Alright, we're just going to shoot off into the distance here, because I feel like but even if I miss somebody with one, I'll hit somebody in the background with the rest of those bullets. Oh, man. Things are getting crazy here. Air support, engaging hostiles. Light ground support moving fast. Confirming visual on the enemy. Okay, let's get these planes out of the way, and then I'll go up there and help them focus on the, the rest of them. Come on, get out of here. Got more coming. Out, out, out. There you go. Actually, the towers are doing a really good job here. I haven't had to really go up and help too much. Looking good, looking good. Take out these Earthlings. Take them out. Take their minerals. This is our planet now. You hear me? Yeah, it looks like we're almost done with this wave. Whoa! They want to send one... One more thing of jets at us there. It looks like they're all taken off. They've retreated. Our forces have been destroyed. Reinforcements won't be here in time. We must use our weapon of last resort. I'm authorizing the use of Tarantula Mark V. Uh-oh. General, there's still civilians in the city. Can you confirm the order? I say again, initiate Tarantula Mark V. Uh-oh. We have no choice. It's boss if time. We lose, the civilians will have no chance to evacuate. Damn, they <laughs> they mean business this time, don't they? Tarantula Mark V. All right, bring it on, Tarantula. Affirmative. Try not to bring the whole city to the ground. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. As he <laughs> absolutely destroys towers and buildings and stuff. Fair enough. Oh man, so we got legs to take out. We got all kinds of stuff to do here. We're gonna go to ghost mode real quick though. And we're gonna put a tower there. And we will also put one... Well, we should probably put it along the way, right? Well, we can take out at least one leg there, probably before he gets too close. He's gonna take out that tower. Tower's done! Well, we're doing some damage to him. I saw, saw some explosions there. Let me attack him from the back here. Don't get hit! Don't get hit! Tarantula lightly damaged. Main hull integrity at 75%. Tarantula lightly damaged. Leg critically damaged. We have oh, to stop geez. to rebalance the platform load onto the other legs. He's got like this red laser thing he's trying to get me with. I got it. Gunships attacking the alien. Alright, so we can just keep circling this thing here. Yeah, one more leg to take out. Oh man, he's got ads. 
He's got dudes helping him. That ain't cool. Oh, jeez. Oh man, I know. I know where it's going. Don't worry, I know. Take this one out. Second leg down. Okay, we're gonna go to ghost mode. We're gonna pop in a few more towers here for this section. He may trample them, but I think it's worth it. We're receiving serious damage. Main hull integrity at 50%. This leg's almost Third down. There we go. Platform balance is critical. If they destroy the last leg, the platform will collapse. Alright, we'll get to the last leg. Once it's available again, anyway. Once it's available to shoot again. Woo! Oh! Okay, this is the last leg here. We can take that thing out quick if we're... If we're quick. Oh, I know, dude. Not for long, though. There we go. Legs all taken out. It's collapsed. We got it. Boom. Didn't even get halfway. Just about halfway. Boom. Absolutely destroyed. Has been annihilated. All remaining units retreat. We have to fall back and regroup. We have to build an even bigger tarantula. Despite the surprise attack, you fended off all enemy units. We didn't expect to encounter intelligent life forms. However, the harvesters have already begun to land, and we must continue. The next cores are approaching the atmosphere according to the planetary assimilation schedule. Move your consciousness to the next landing site. Nice. Victory X. So we didn't do uh, in too entirely bad there. I gotta be honest. And that was a lot of fun. That was only a bronze victory. So as we get better with this game, we'll get better victories here. But um, yeah, I gotta say, this uh, just from that first mission, awesome. Awesome, awesome game. You got your mixture of uh, twin stick shooting, uh, bullet hell shooters, uh, tower defense. You got a big boss battle at the end as well. Like, this is just really, really cool. And of course, with its sweet Transformers-esque title, Export Defense. Okay, so that was South Africa, the one we just played. We now have Canada and Great Britain to deal with. Um, let's see. Well, let's, let's go with Canada. Let's do this. And yeah, we do have some upgrades we can do. We got two technologies and one upgrades left. So we can do, let's see, missiles are best at decimating enemy air support or stopping huge waves of air. So you could switch between different weapons with the guy, which is kind of cool. These are ones we all, we already have, I guess. Um, yeah, those are required, it says. Is that, does it mean required as in I have to get that one? But no, we already got that, so we don't need to worry about that. We can get bombs, which is kind of cool. Um, we also have upgrades for towers. So it fires constantly without recharging. However, it has a relatively short range, deals damage over um, time, and it will destroy any small ground units. Uh, artillery tower. So this is a second different tower, it looks like. Anti-air flak tower. Oh, it's the flamethrower tower. Okay, so these are just different towers that we can get. That's cool. So you start off with the one plasma tower. That's what you get. Okay. And you can put a shield around 
your base. Okay, so each upgrade is a little bit different. So for your ship and for the to uh, for the towers, it uses these things called technologies, and for your actual base, this is where the upgrades come in. Though it does have a faster go ghost movement upgrade as well. Uh, I think we'll put a... This is a passive upgrade which automatically protects the core each time when the Exomorph core's integrity reaches 75% or 50%. It releases a powerful shockwave, which sounds pretty sweet. Uh, let's go with the shield. Let's go ahead and upgrade to the artillery tower, so that way it has a longer range. And that one took two upgrades right there, so we're good to go, I think. All right. Some of the technologies I recommended for this mission are missing from your setup. It might prove very difficult to win without them. Are you sure you want to proceed? Um, no. What does it say we need? Range, power, rate of fire. Uh, let me go to mission select. What does it say we need? Small ground, ground medium, ground large, jumpers, artillery. So what does it suggest that we use? That's what I'm not sure about. Can we do Great Britain? Huh. I don't know where it says that it says that the mission has suggested things that we need for it. But that's fine. Uh, let's just go back. Let's just do Canada. Let's see what let's see what happens with our current setup. I mean, we already used up what upgrades we have. Yes, let's just do it. I want to see what happens with our current upgrades. Yeah, it's telling you about blocking paths, which we learned last mission here. As we load up the next mission. Alright, here we go. As we land in Canada. Not Canada! AJ at Video Chums might have something to say about that. Alright, sounds good. Okay. The aliens have landed in the outskirts of the city. Our main forces aren't ready yet. We're sending in a small reconnaissance force. Alright, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six towers we can put up. So let's go ahead and hit ghosts. And we're gonna put uh, one tower here. So now we could pick between towers, right? Because I thought we picked an artillery tower. Um, let's see, help and options. Uh, so shoot, charge weapon, ghost mode, next wave, change weapon. Hmm. I don't see one for changing the tower. Maybe it's a tower upgrade? Is that what, how that works? Let's find out. So if we... We pop this tower down, and then we select it, then you've got cell, which is pretty sim uh, pretty simple to figure out. Okay, so that's a move. And what does this do? This will upgrade. Okay, so that's how you do it. But that will eat one of your resources, so if you put a tower down and then upgrade it, it will eat one of your your resources, so something to keep in mind for sure. All right, let's drop a tower here, and then we're gonna connect this guy to that one. And we're gonna force him to go into the same line as those guys, and then we're sort of uh, plotting our our moves here. So let's put a tower here. No, maybe here. And then if we put one here, that will put a fence up. So the real question is, will they route where I want them to go, which is down below? Yes, they will. Perfect. So we're routing. One, two, three, four. They're all routing down to here. And then I can route them again here. I have two towers, so I'm going to do that again. And then, oh yeah, and then I can even route them again there. So, great. 
okay this I think this will work out pretty well so let's put our tower here and we'll put the other tower there and we will select the fence boom there we go that's gonna be the name of the game rerouting the, the characters or uh, the enemies around right and I think that's about all we can do for now Light ground forces on site commencing attack bring it on we got planes already Experiencing heavy losses. Bring it on. We got this. All right, we got some big tanks coming. They got a long way to go. Take out these planes. They're almost like planes mixed with helicopters, like a hover, hover, hover plane or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what you want to call them. We're just going to keep shooting up this way here. More air support, huh? This is a pretty long wave one, I gotta say. But that will hopefully give us a lot of energy to build stuff. Yeah, air support is not doing so well, are they? So these towers that I'm hanging out by here, these are pretty much my last defense. If anything gets by that, then I, I have to take it out myself. So I'll let the towers do the work up above, but as far as, as far as it goes down here, I gotta protect it. Oh, okay, we got these guys. Let's take them. Let's get them. Look at that. These guys are just beelining for the, the core. Because they actually made it through. There we go. The aliens have already fortified their positions. They are beginning to transform the terrain near their base. It's the same invasion pattern we observed in Africa. We have to keep the aliens from expanding their influence. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Very true. So, uh, we definitely got to put some towers here. So we'll put one there. And we will put one here. And then we're going to chain them there. That will force those guys to go that way. Um, the funny thing was, is I was actually going to take this path and guide it over here. But I didn't realize they were going to be opening up a third one over there. Which means they do have the potential to like add a, a fourth one up over here. Maybe even on the left here. Which could really throw a, a wrench in the works there. Um, so at this point, the real question is... Is there a better way for me to route these guys? And I don't know that there is. I guess I could have them go straight down and then guide them down there. I guess I could do that. All right, let me build a tower here, I guess. No, that's a bad spot. Uh, grab that. Let's move it over here. And then we're going to also move, or at least build a tower there, and put up another gate. There we go. Okay, that's what I want to do is block them around to go a yet, yet again another longer way there. Um, But the thing I keep thinking about is, would it be better for them from the top to come straight down here, and then go over here, and then have those guys go that way? I don't know. Let's Let's give it a shot. Let's just move... Let's, yeah, let's try it. Let's let's just see what happens. Let's experiment. So we move these guys here. That's going to push them that way. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Uh, and then... 
so if we grab this guy, move him here. Oh no, we want one, right? We just want the one so it could create a fence with that guy. So that's going to force everyone to go that way, which is not really what I want. Alright, grab... Grab this guy. I'm just trying to create, like, the coolest... The coolest blockade here, that's all. Alright, so if I grab... This guy. We will put him... There. Select that. Fence there. And now that is putting those guys through there without many towers for a while. So if we then... Yeah, we almost need like a third one right here. That will extend them that, that going that way. I'm probably overthinking this. I probably don't need to do this much uh, rejiggering at the moment, right? Uh, actually, what if I... If I... What happens if I move this guy here? He is a bit far. Oh, it doesn't quite reach, huh? Uh, let's see. Grab this guy. Do the fence thing. There we go. Okay, so that will reroute them around that way. And it seems like this guy actually added, like, an automatic fence right about here where my ship is, so they can't get through there. That's kind of cool. Alright, um... I think we will kind of leave it there for now. Or better yet, I think I think I have a better yet here. Let's grab this guy and move him here. And we'll grab this guy and move him about there. So if I now make that. Okay, there we go. Now that is a pretty good run there. Anything that comes through here is going to hit those guys. Uh, I can eventually move these guys so that way they have to go through the middle and hit these guys. I think that this is going to work out pretty well. In fact, I can actually move these right now, can I? I'm going to do it. Look at that. So now they're they're all routing together down this way. They got no chance. No chance. All right, let's go for it. Light mobile squad reporting. Advancing to target rapidly. All right, we got air support coming in here. This might put a little bit more work on me for this wave here, but then I can start adding in the towers like all over the place in, in certain centralized locations and do some real good damage. Armor squad ready to deploy. The hit is coming. Whoa! And then these guys along this way are just going to hit all of these towers, which, hey, sucks for them, but you know what? That's what you get. That's what you get for not letting us invade your planet and take it over, take all your minerals and everything else. That's what you get. We're taking heavy alien fire. Yeah, you are. Take out as much as we can over here. Oh man, these little, little guys in the jeeps, they don't mess around. They really, they really want to take us out big time. All 
Alright, all the air support is now down. Now hopefully they're not going to open up another uh, wave that the enemy can come through on the left there because that's going to muck up all of my uh, my planning. All of my routing. Just those two left. Significant reinforcements have just arrived. I'm opening a new attack front on the western side of the city. Bring it on. I received confirmation that new super heavy tank prototypes are already on their way and should be joining the battle soon. Super heavy artillery tanks. Oh no. <laughs> it's been expanded. No. Oh man, they added two more. Yeah, they weren't kidding that the waves are getting uh, harder, uh, were they? They weren't kidding at all. All right, so now we really got to rethink what we're doing here because we got six more towers we can add in here, but we really got to start routing everybody through like a really long process here. Okay. Um, let's go to ghost mode. What we're going to do is we're going to route... We're going to move you up over here. Let's start at the top corner. And we're going to grab you... So no wonder they, they don't start the wave automatically like uh, they do in some other tower defense games because they really need you to like get your strategy down and figure this stuff out. Hey, there was a good one there. I think that'll work. And we're going to select the old... There we go. Okay, well don't worry. I will uh, move these guys. Let's remove that. Let's add that. Okay, that will route them there. Uh, these guys have a road. Uh, they don't really have a good road, do they? I'd like to delay them. Hmm. Actually, the way I had it might be the way I got to keep it because there really aren't any other road options. On the, le the left side is going to be sort of like its own thing over here. Because um, I really thought that this was going to be a, a path for them to travel here, but it's not. There's no road there. So their only real road goes all the way down. So it's like kind of a split thing going on here. So I guess actually I should probably put those guys back where they were. I think we might actually. Or we can pop them down and around that way. Maybe that might work better. Maybe we'll try that. Let's let's try that and just see what happens. We'll pop a guy here. And we'll pop this guy down here. We'll just change it up just a little bit and see what we can do here. And we'll fence that off. Okay, so that adds a, a bit of a longer route for those guys there. And we still got our long route to deal with down here. But yeah, uh, this is actually pretty challenging to try to figure out like a good path for everybody. It's, uh, it's quite interesting the way it's all put together. And now I got six more I can build, so what is going to be the best diversion here? Probably down to here, and then to here. So let's go ahead and build... Uh, no, go back to Ghost. So we're going to build... One tower here. And one tower... Maybe here? Put the fence up. Okay, that routes them through the middle. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. All right, so we'll just build... Let's build another set here, I guess. So we'll build that guy there. And that guy there. Let's go ahead and set those guys up. Oh, and he'll just route around him like that. All right, so we need to move him 
like right here then, right? Okay, just still sort of like get around him. Okay, so we need to move you like literally here. And then hopefully you guys can you can't path from there. Alright, how about if we Oop We move you down here. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Okay, so now if he goes down there, he's going to have a straight path to there. So now we got to put um, a tower here and one tower there as we blow up that little truck. And there we go. I think that's kind of what we're going to have to do for this. Uh, it's really all we've got. Uh, we've got some good routes going, but this one's going to be it's going to be crazy. Thanks. Let's see what happens. We're in ghost mode. There we go. Okay, we got a lot of tanks coming in from up here. Contact! Contact! We need support! Yeah, you do. Ops team, Romeo, Tango, Zulu. Prepare for the next wave. You're cleared to engage. Yes, sir. Air support, no location, one minute. Tank brigade reporting. Leading assault. Tank brigade. Bring it on, tank brigade. Oh, can't quite get in the line of fire. Or trying to get out of the line of fire, I should say. Oh man, this is this is gonna get tough. Take him out. Take him out. There we go. Don't let those tanks through. Take that one. There we go. Okay, we're gonna go back over here. Really splitting our time between these like two long pads here. Gunships attacking the alien. Bring it on, dude. Alright, we got nothing coming in for the top left, so we're doing pretty good here. Doing okay. Nothing's reaching the base, so that's what's probably most important, right? Alright, take that out, take that out. It's our last mode of defense here. I should really be using my uh, charge weapon. There we go. Air support engaging hostiles. There we go. I don't. I think I actually might have missed more than anything right there, but that's okay. I got to start remembering to use everything that's at my uh, at my beck and call here. All weapons, all towers, that kind of thing. I'd like to upgrade a couple of towers to the artillery one, but we'll see what we can do here. Armor brigade is ready to attack from the city outskirts. A strong tank assault force is rolling in from all directions. We'll give them hell. You can try. But I'm gonna I'm gonna be rerouting you guys a little bit more here, I think. Okay. Oh wow, we got another one coming in from right here. You see that? Okay, so we're gonna be doing some more moving here. So we're gonna move you here. And we're gonna move you here. And we're gonna add our fence there. Okay, good. That's where we want to put them. And then we're going to add a tower here and a tower here. We're going to add the old fence. Good, good. That's exactly what I wanted to do. And we have four more we can build. So I would like to put... I want to put one that's like along the path where it's going to hit everybody that eventually gets there. So I'm going to put one tower there. 
And I'm definitely going to put one tower right here. And put another one here. Now, if I chain these guys together, will it go around top or bottom? It will go around them like that. Okay, so I think that's actually a good spot. Um, so I might actually move this guy here. Will that work? Yes, they have to go up and around. Okay, so that's actually kind of a nice little cheat there for my side. And I have one more tower I can put down or I can put down... Uh, or I can upgrade one of them. So the real question is, what do I want to do with that? Uh, I don't know. We can try... Why don't we try upgrading one? We'll put, we'll put this guy together here. He could shoot from a distance, so maybe that'll be good, him being close to the base, and he could shoot from a distance. All right, we're just going for it here. Saving checkpoint. Super heavy bulldog tanks reporting on the battle. Oh, man, super heavy Our tanks. Look at this thing. Detecting incoming airborne threat. That thing's popping right through the grass and the trees and everything. Wasn't expecting that. Good God. Woo! We're definitely doing some damage to that thing. It's hurting. But the thing that sucks is we gotta take these things out while we're taking out other enemies as well, so... Keep that in mind. Oh, that's one down. Okay, get these planes out of here. Get these planes out of here! We don't have time for that. We're taking heavy alien fire. This tank is almost done. There it is. Armor squad ready to deploy. The hit is coming. Look at that. That is destruction right there. Okay, I'm gonna go over here and help this side now that this side's starting up. Got to get that lined up. There we go. There it is. That is what we're looking to do there. Okay, we got a lot over here. Gunships attacking the alien. Man, that charge blast is really going to be coming in handy here. That's for sure. Boom! You're not gonna do you're not gonna do anything, gunship. So it's interesting with this tower defense game how so much of it really does rely on you doing damage as well. Like it's not you're not just relying on towers and then like running around upgrading your towers. Like you are a very big part of this working out for your, your alien race here. Uh, especially moving the towers around and planning the, the path and stuff like that. Don't under underestimate how important that actually is, because, man, I was not uh, expecting that. Like, when they said it was an important part of your planning, you know, I was like, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. But it actually really is very important. Because look at all these enemies I have to deal with and blow up at the same time. Boom. And I think we got this last one. Look at that. That wasn't so bad. And that's only four out of six. We still got two more waves. The ground and trees are being overgrown with this strange metal surface. We have to stop them. Luckily, they haven't fortified their base from the south yet. Prepare to attack from the forest. Oh, God, no. <laughs> oh, they really are making this more, more and more difficult as it goes on. Oh, jeez, they're like right there. 
Okay, uh, this is gonna be tough. Really tough. Um, alright, so we're gonna try to reroute them a lot here. Uh... I also kind of appreciate uh, them uh, taking this game and like they give you, you know, a rough tutorial at the beginning, but really like they throw you right into the thick of it by the second mission. Like I am, I am figuring out some complex stuff, you know? Okay. Oh, so now they're going to go that way. Jerks. If you block it that way, then they'll just go up there. Okay. Well, I got plenty of towers I can build. So let's, let's go back to ghost mode here. Let's build a tower there, and let's build one here, and let's connect those, right? Didn't I connect those? Try it again. There it is. So now they're going to reroute that way. Oh, I see. So anything from the south here, we can actually reroute all the way over going that way. Oh, wow. So we could reroute. We could reroute these guys like all the way over. Let's do it. So we, the guys coming from the top, we can have them go like all the way up and around to this opening here. Okay, we, we can we can do some some good stuff here, I think. That's what we're going to do. I've got a plan, man. All right, pop a tower here, and then pop one here. Go ahead and connect those. Okay, so now see this? Now this they have to reroute going all the way around to this opening here, which sucks for them. <laughs> it really does. Uh, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, move this guy here. Or no, that guy can stay. I'm going to move this guy here. Right there is good. Uh, yep, I know. We're, we're working on it, dude. And we're going to... Grab this guy, make the... There we go. So now they gotta go through those towers there. So everything is gonna pop out through here. It's the only route that they got. And I still got three towers that I can upgrade and, and deal with here, which is awesome. So... Yeah, I'm gonna leave those towers there. I'm gonna keep this going the way it's going. This is a really long way for everybody except for... Uh, Probably these guys on the very bottom. <laughs> and I could probably make it longer for them, but then it would take some away from them. Yeah, it's it's like kind of whatever that what is that phrase? You know, I forget. Six and one. Six, six and one, half dozen the other. I don't know, so, something like that. It's like you could go, you could do it a couple different ways, but it's going to end up the same way. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually upgrade a couple of these guys, or maybe just one of them. Uh, let's see, where's upgrade? Let's do artillery. I'm going to add one tower here. Actually, I'm going to add two towers here. There we go. All right, I think I think we're good now. Let's start this wave. Let's do this. All forces south of the alien base. Be advised, southern attack routes are now open. I repeat, attack from the south. Yeah, bring it on. Bring it on. Light ground forces on site. Commencing attack. It's the first time we've had forces coming from the south. It's like a completely different feeling here. Oh man, they are sending a lot from the south. So I'm not going to worry about the ones coming up from the north there, as you can see in the bottom right map there. 
uh, because they got a long way to go through all those towers. I think a lot of them are going to be done by the time they get over here. This is really the only place I need to attack from because everything is rerouting from here. That was a nice explosion right there. Oh, that was not. That was not great. Okay, we're we're doing we're doing okay here, but man, they are throwing a lot of stuff at us. Good God. And I got planes to deal with as well. Experiencing heavy losses. Yeah, you are. You guys are going down. This is my planet now. Mine! Alright, I'm going to go ghost mode for a second here and just quickly build uh, a couple of towers just to get them up here. So I need a little bit more support, I think. Oh, that was not the greatest shot. Alright, we do got dudes coming in from the bottom here. Looking, we're looking okay. It's just a bunch of little guys. Them, I'm not too worried about. And this is intense. Very intense. Is that the wave? Yeah, they're taking off. We had some air support coming in, but they took off. Wow, we made it through. Alien towers are decimating our regular army units, but this time we've got a new group of bulldog tanks. They'll spearhead the final assault wave. We're attacking from all directions at once, so the aliens won't be able to concentrate their fire. We don't have any additional forces in this region. This is the deciding battle. <laughs> this is the deciding battle for Canada. All right. Drop that guy there. I'm going to completely reinforce this entryway here. Um, because this is where everyone's going to be dumping out into. So this is just how it's got to be. And let's just go for it. I think we're, we're pretty well suited up here. Okay, these are not bulldog tanks, but that yeah, that that is a bulldog tank. All right, so, but we got a ton of enemies coming in from the bottom, so I can focus on those guys in a moment. These guys are super close to our base, so we're just gonna go after them first. Oh, I'm, I'm walking right into. I need uh, my health back. Does it does it uh, recharge? Does the health recharge so I don't get hit? Oh, jeez! And I get as I get hit. <laughs> squad reporting. Advancing to target rapidly. All right, that's all those guys. Yep, our health is back. Okay, good. Boom! Alright, we really gotta focus on this side, I think. Oh my god, there's two sets of those big tanks coming. 
Luckily, they got a really long path to take here. More gunships. Go down. Get out of here. Thank you. Heavy column destroyed. We're losing this. Yeah, you very well may lose this. Just want to get this one big tank here. Then we got to run back over here. Because they're dumping in super close to that, that portion right there, which is what I'm afraid of. I still got four more of those huge tanks to take out. Oh, gunship, get out of here. Get out of here, gunship. I don't need you. All right, we're looking pretty good here. Okay, I'm going to go to ghost mode real quick. Pop in a couple more towers, because why not? Just in case they do get to this part. Which they may or may not, I don't know. That tank is down. Oh man, those tanks do some damage. It's like heat seeking missiles or something. See that? I don't think this guy's gonna make it too far. I think this might might be it for this guy. Look at that. Excellent. You repelled all enemy attacks. Construction of the geodetic matrix and the network of connections between the harvester cores is progressing. Our goals in this region have been accomplished. Each core extends our capabilities. You will be able to implement additional technologies after this mission. Move your consciousness to the next landing site. And there we go. Mission accomplished. Victory! Very nice. Let's see what do we get for this one. Is another bronze? We got a... Yep, bronze victory. So not great. Debris collected. I didn't know that we could collect debris. Hmm. That's interesting. So we got a perfect. We didn't even get one shot on our base there. Um, but one mission because I'm like figuring it all out, trying to put things where they're supposed to go. That was a 40 minute mission. So guys going into this know that like if you get into a mission and you're really keen on making sure that you have the best strategy and the best uh, path for the enemies to go in, it might take you a little while to get everything set up the way you want it. Um, but you could definitely tell like how long levels are going to take for this. Uh, but I will say... There, there's looks like there's plenty of levels to play in, which is great. Uh, that was only the first two. That was just South Africa and Canada, where we head into Britain next. Um, but man, uh, I gotta say, great game. It's another really, really good port on the Switch here. Uh, definitely recommend checking this out if this is the type of game for you. Like I said, this is like a mix of, uh, you know, bullet hell and twin stick shooting and... Uh, tower defense and it's it's like all of it put together an amalgamation and it just works really really well um, so I, I definitely recommend this right off the bat so uh, definitely check this out on the switch for sure and of course this is available on other platforms too if you don't want to play it on the switch it's on PC and I believe PS4 and stuff too so uh, definitely check it out because it is a lot of fun um, but there you go everybody that is X morph defense uh, very very cool um, I want to remind you guys all to definitely follow us here on Video Challenge because we come out with cool Let's Play videos like this and other gameplay videos all the time. You know, pretty much every week, almost every day, there's something new up on the channel. So definitely subscribe, check us out. And of course, check out my own personal channel on YouTube. It's WatchGGRC. Uh, I do all kinds of other different types of videos. I do vlogs and I do uh, game reviews. And I also do, uh, I, I have a, a series where I play through old, old school Quake maps as well, if you're into old school games. Uh, but there you go, everybody. Uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you all in the next Let's Play. See you then.